Would you like to get a recommendation from someone you worked with quite a while back? This is part two of asking for recommendations on LinkedIn. And here's tip number three. I generally tell people you can go as far back as 10 years if the work that you did together was relevant. Most people will remember you if you did a really great job on something together. Either give them a call by phone or send them an email and ask to catch up with them. When you meet on Zoom, remind them of the work that you did together. And again, ask if they would feel comfortable giving you a recommendation on LinkedIn. This is a great way to catch up with a colleague and network, and you never know what opportunities might come out of that reconnection. So here's tip number four. For someone to give you a recommendation on LinkedIn, you actually have to be connected. So you want to make sure that you are a first connection before you send them the request for a recommendation on LinkedIn. And as a bonus tip for you, I always make sure that I have recommendations from several different industries. I work with coaches and consultants, but also with financial professionals and attorneys. And I want a balance of recommendations so that when somebody looks at my profile, they can say, oh, she worked with somebody in my profession. She must know what she's doing. Second bonus tip is be intentional about all your different lines of businesses. For me, that's anything from speaking engagements to my 10-day challenge, to my group classes, and my one-to-one -one coaching. I want social proof for all the different ways that I serve my people. Asking for recommendations can be intimidating to some people, but it's also so rewarding to get great feedback from your peers.